one of the important aspects of the nature of mathematics is logical reasoning. In order for us to strengthen our logical reasoning, we should learn how to validate and invalidate arguments. So what is an argument? A deductive argument is a collection of propositions where it is claimed that one of the propositions called the conclusion follows from the other propositions called the premises of the argument. If an argument has n premises, we write it as follows. In sequence, we have premise 1, premise 2, and so on and so forth until premise n. And then the premises are followed by the conclusion q. So if an argument has only one premise, then we write it as follows. If an argument has two premises, it is written in this manner. And if an argument has three premises, we write it as follows. For example, premise 1, if the math test item is simple, then the math test item is easy. Second premise, the math test item is simple. Conclusion, therefore, the math test item is easy. This is the statement form of the deductive argument. In order to evaluate if a deductive argument is valid or not, we need to symbolize the statement form. So let us symbolize the statement form in the previous line, considering the propositional variables A, which represent the statement or the proposition the math test item is simple, and variable B for the proposition the math test item is easy. Using the propositional variables defined in the previous line, let us symbolize our deductive argument. For the first premise, if the math test item is simple, then the math test item is easy. The proposition the math test item is simple is proposition A. And the proposition the math test item is easy is proposition B. Now since this is an if-then statement, we represent this by A arrow B, or A implies B. Our second premise is simply the variable A, and our conclusion is simply the variable B. So this is our deductive argument in symbolic form. To evaluate if a deductive argument is true, then we have to show that whenever all the premises are true, then the conclusion is also true. For instance, if we have two premises that are both true, for this argument to be valid, the conclusion must also be correct. In symbols, we write this as the conjunction of the premises P1 and P2 implies Q. So if P1 is true, and if P2 is true, its conjunction is true. Now for the implication to be correct or true, then the conclusion must be true in order to satisfy that T implies T is true. Because if Q is false, T implies F would be false. And in that case, the deductive argument is invalid. In general, if we have a deductive argument with n premises P1, P2, up to Pn, followed by the conclusion, this will only be valid if and only if the propositional form P1 and P2 and up to Pn implies Q is a tautology. In other words, the conjunction of all the premises implies Q must be a tautology. So let us write the propositional form of the deductive argument in symbolic form given in example number 10. 
where premise 1 is A implies B, premise 2 is A, and the conclusion Q is B. We recall that the propositional form, whenever there are two premises, is the conjunction of premise 1 and premise 2 implies the conclusion Q. We know that the first premise is A implies B. The second premise is A, and the conclusion Q is therefore B. Now, the propositional form would be A implies B, that's your premise 1, and then we use the conjunction, and then we write premise 2, which is A, and then we group this using another set of grouping symbols, and then implies the conclusion, which is B. So this is the propositional form of our deductive argument. A deductive argument is said to be valid if its propositional form is a tautology. So let us determine if our deductive argument in the previous slides is a tautology or not. So given here is its propositional form. To do this, we shall create a truth table for our propositional form. Since our propositional form has two variables, we have four rows in the truth table. Now for this propositional form, we evaluate the implication first. So using the values of A and B, we get the implication value or the conditional value, which are true, false, true, and true. Now we're going to use these values here along with the values of A and then evaluate the conjunction. So the conjunction values are true, false, false, and false. And then we use this column along with the values of B and evaluate this last logical operator which is the implication. So using the following, true implies true is true. False implies false is true. False implies true is true. False implies false is true. Now since the final truth values are all true, then we say that the propositional form is a tautology. Now since the propositional form is a tautology, our deductive argument is valid. Let us have another example. Let's determine if this argument is valid or not. First premise, jade is in class or jade eats fruits. Second premise, jade is not in class. Conclusion, therefore, jade does not eat fruits. And we know that this is in the statement form. So to validate or invalidate the argument, we need to use symbols. So J is in class will be represented by the variable A. And J eats fruits will be represented by variable B. For the symbolic form. So the premise J is in class or J eats fruits will be written as A inverted caret B, or the disjunction A or B. The second premise, J is not in class, is the negation of A. And our conclusion, therefore, J does not eat fruits, is the negation of B. So this is our symbolic form. Since the symbolic form of our deductive argument has two propositional variables A and B, again, we have four rows for the truth table. The propositional form of our symbolic form in the previous slide is written as follows. The quantity of A or B and negation of A implies negation of B. So we will evaluate first the disjunction or so we copy the values of A and B 
and evaluate the disjunction. So we get true, 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 false. And then we use that blue colored column along with the values of the negation of A, which are as follows. False, false, true, true. So we will evaluate the blue colored columns using the conjunction N. And the values would be false, false, true, and false. Now this green colored column will now be paired with the values of the negation of B, which are false, true, false, true. And we shall evaluate these green colored columns using the implication. So F implies F must be true. F implies T is true. T implies F is false. And F implies T is true. Now, since there's a false value in our final truth column, which is in the third row, then we say that our propositional form is not a tautology. Then it follows that our deductive argument is invalid.